Welcome to Don's Key Tech. The short video will show you how to enable MQTT over WebSockets using the Mosquito Broker. So the question is, why do we need to enable WebSockets in MQTT? Well, the MQTT protocol by default does not operate on your web browser. So the solution is to send MQTT messages wrapped in WebSocket envelope. The majority of the latest browsers support the WebSocket protocol, so this is a viable option. The messages are exchanged with the MQTT packet wrapped inside the WebSocket envelope, which in turn is sent to the TCP IP envelope. The receiver unpacks its each envelope until it sees the MQTT packet. You can envision that it will be easier to create Internet of Things application in the browser that uses MQTT communication protocol to the web sockets. Now, I have here my Mosquito MQTT broker running. And as you can see, it has a message that it is listening to WebSocket port 9001. Now, the changes are really simple on how to enable this. And all you have to do is to edit your mosquito.conf and add this line. So, this is my mosquito.conf and I just added the following lines. So, the, the default MQTT port is running at 1883 and I just enabled the WebSockets at running in 9001. I have allowed the, any, anyone to call or publish or subscribe into my MQTT broker using this option. The socket domain option is usable if your network config is using IPv4 or change this to IPv6. Now, after doing that changes, all you have to do is execute this command, mosquito dash C, mosquito connect, and then dash B, and then it will now be able to listen to WebSocket port. The next question is, how do we do the testing of our MQTT over WebSockets? Then, to do that, I'm using a tool called the MQTT-X, which is a tool available in major operating systems such as the Windows, Linux, or the Mac. All you need to do is to download the appropriate installer for you and then run the application. Once the application is run, all you have to do is to click the new connection after clicking the add the new connection, just click set the name and then the host will be WS and the IP address would be the IP address of my Mosquito MQTT broker which is currently the Windows PC that I'm running. The port is 9001 and then you just need to click the connect button. You see, the message is now connected which means that I am able to communicate with my Mosquito broker. If we take a look at my Mosquito Broker, you would, mess, you would see that there's a new client that has connected in this port. Now, once we have the connection, the next thing to do is to subscribe to a particular topic. To do that, just click the new subscription. And then we're going to subscribe to the temperature topic. And then just up, up, uh, accept the default and then click the confirm button. So right now, I am connect. The, the temperature is in this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a client that will publish in this Mosquito broker. So what we're going to do is publish the using the tool Mosquito Pub and the version is MPTT 311. The topic is temperature and the message is 10F or 10 degree Fahrenheit. I click enter. And as you can see, there was a message and then the publish was done. In the Mosquito Broker, it says that it has successfully published. Then let's check our MQTTX app. Now, as you can see, in my MQTTX app, you would notice that I have received the topic, the message 10F, and the topic is temperature. The message was successfully received, so which means that our setup for the Mosquito MQTT over WebSocket was successful. In the future, we will be using the concept discussed here in an Internet of Things project. Until then, up exploring.